Hello, I'm Justin McNamee, Neon Glow in the Dark Multigenre Artist. I'm here with two of my most distinctive paintings. Um, this one is called Gothic Albino Logic, The Beginning, and this one is called A Progression of Gothic Albinos. In this storyline of um, the love children and the um, revolutionary, ultra-revolutionaries and the hollow sinners, there was um, there is a story that these are kind of like in this. These are in the same storyline. These are just what they look like before they evolved. Um, in this one, you see the basic. You know, you see clear math equations and progressions, and clearly a contrasted subject matter. And um, basically, um, you got the what? What is um, the male side? The sperm. And the female side was just the circle and the eggs and the shapes. And how they fuse to make this, um, how they fuse to reproduce. And this one, and then you see, um, you see how they're kind of intertwined too. It's a very contrasted subject. I really want to step away from color for these paintings. And um, in this one, in the storyline, in the storyline of what I would call the moderns, that's the whole Western people, um, this is way before, this is kind of like, um, the concept of this came from when you're a baby, you supposedly see in black and white, and I think humanity was still in its infancy, and that's where I got this idea from, was being in infancy, and only seeing in black and white, but somehow the meaning of it is something far more than black and white. Um, this one in the storyline comes before, or no, it comes, this one in the storyline comes after this one, so this one's first, and then this one's second. And this is way in the storyline, this is way before they um, actually develop color and start actually evolving into the revolutionaries and stuff. That's late, way later on down the story. In this painting you see, you clearly see their, it's kind of like a yin yang a little bit. Um, you see all the sperms and the, um, they're going to the center of uh, logic and understanding. And they create this concept of reproduction. And um, and, and it, it's so, the concept develops so quick and so rapidly that it actually starts to take physical form in the way they reproduce and think. And um, before all this, they, they actually, in this, they develop the stars and they start to develop how they're going to, how they glow and later on. Um, but before all this happens, there's another painting and they develop color because from black and white does come color. Um, and these up here are, this is a representation of egg and I guess conception. It's actually um, from, I took inspiration from the image of a magnifying, a magnoscope when they're showing reproduction. And, um, and conception when the egg is fertilized and stuff. And uh, you see the black and white, um, you see how it's contrasted backwards. But regardless, it still takes the egg and the sperm to actually reproduce who they are. And in this, um, there is some type of logic and um, religious devotion and something beyond science at work here to really make this happen. And um, it's kind of, it, it's a fusion really of science and um, a belief. Um, two subjects that are, I feel, often seen as separate but in the same category, like black and white are not colors, but and they're very opposite, but they are in fact pigments. Um, the cubes are a metaphor of the box that we are forced to think inside of, and these are the circle of life, yet the eggs and the sperm too, which is it's a dual meaning a lot. The triangles are a metaphor of a beginning, middle, um, beginning, middle, and end, and the rectangles, they're really, I really try to infuse every basic kind of concept of human um, invention really with the shapes because there's no such thing as shapes if we were not conscious we wouldn't have no use for them so I really wanted to fuse them in this and make it very an advanced progression um, basically you know as an artist I want to step away from color and just really d dive into this whole concept of before the color was developed in the storyline and how everything was basically kind of a black and white you neither lived or died and, and the storyline, I guess, and how it would relate to our humanity is it would be, um, I guess they would be very, um, 
I guess, intellectual cavemen. Um, they're very smart, and they have control of the way they reproduce, and they develop growth, and they start analyzing it, and they really have control over it. In the later storylines, a um, little bit after this, in the next paintings I will be doing, they will invent the color, and then that's fused in with the glow, and then from there they will start to develop into the ultra evolutionaries and the holly centers and and that kind of thing, and go back and forth of losing color and gaining color through science or er, um, circumstance and religion and God and however things a master plan, I guess. Um, I'm Justin Atme. Hope you enjoyed these. See you next time.